Hey guys, it's Mark, and today I will be talking about California's Great America Plan, released by the City of Santa Clara. Now before I start the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to Inside CGA on Facebook and Instagram. He uh, was a very big help in this. He provided me with the slides, which I could not find on the internet, so thank you to him. Go check him out. Now. Uh, this was released by the city of Santa Clara. It looks like September 8th, but I think it was a little after. I'm not too sure, but it was probably a couple weeks ago or something like that. And it looks like that they have a big plan for Great America, so let's take a look. So here is the 20-year plan. Okay, so it's 20 years, and it looks like they have three areas that are planned for the park. The first area is the entertainment district. So I'm guessing the entertainment district has something to do with restaurants, shows maybe. Now I've been to both city walks, the one at Universal Hollywood and Orlando, and obviously it's not gonna be too as like it's not gonna be as big as the city walks at Orlando and uh, Hollywood, but it might be a mini version. I don't know, we'll have to see. It's certainly a first for a Cedar Fair Park. And then, of course, we have the theme park and the water park, which will be getting a expansion. So, uh, we're we'll be talking about that also. All right. So here's just a little bit more preliminary stuff. This is what we have now. You can see uh, flight deck over there, the, the tiny water park. You have drop tower, star tower, extreme sky flyer, and gold striker there. And then this is what the proposed is. You have the big B&M Hyper right there, it looks like. It looks like there's a wind seeker or something like that right there. I see a Frisbee, which they already have a claw ride, so I don't know why that's needed. Um, and then I can see a slingshot over there next to Drop Tower, so that's cool. Uh, and then I don't know if they're including the water park expansion there, but there will be one almost guaranteed that there will be one. All right, so here we're gonna be talking about the entertainment district. So group pavilion, we already have a pavilion built. It's a really nice pavilion. And obviously that's probably gonna be part of the entertainment district since it's gonna be at the front of the park. Uh, amphitheater, all right. Um, they have an amphitheater over in Planet Snoopy, which will unfortunately probably be torn down for the water park expansion. But again, I, I don't know if it, it can't be the amphitheater they're talking about though because it's not in the front of the park. So, not sure about that. And then we have the entertainment zone. This is the big part. The picture there obviously isn't gonna be that big, but um, looks pretty nice. If it's gonna be anything like that picture, they're gonna have a lot of building to do. Um, not sure how that's gonna affect the park skyline, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's a first for a Cedar Fair Park. They don't have one at Cedar Point, so um, if CGA gets something before Cedar Point, I mean, I'm good with that, you know? I guess Cedar Point gets everything first. Anyway, I digress. So, yeah, family rides. This will may or may not be part of Planet Snoopy. It might just be scattered around the park. We have something that looks like Dinosaurs Alive. So I've never experienced that. So I heard it isn't spectacular, but I don't know. We'll see. Climb and play structure. A climb and play structure has been rumored for a while now. They're probably going to get it somewhere around Grizzly, which is at the back of the park. Interactive 4D experience. Yeah, we already have that. So that is already, uh, that's already good. That's already here. Let's continue. Mini steel coaster. Okay, so... Probably something like Freedom Flyer at Fun Spot in Orlando, but a mini version of it. Uh, look, they look fun. I don't know. I didn't actually go to that when I went to Universal, so I don't know. Mini Wood Coaster. Uh, something like Woodstock Express at Carowinds, obviously with a different name since they already have a Woodstock Express. Unless they replace it, which it is rumored that they'll replace Woodstock Express. Spinning Rides. Um, all right. So we do have a couple spinning rides here already, but they're pretty fast. We have, a, I believe, a Husk Breakdance 4. We have a Schwarzkopf Calypso. And I think a couple more, but nothing really family or kitty. 
they're all pretty fast. So yeah, that's a pretty good addition, I guess. And then here's just a um, overview. Oh yeah, look at that flying ace aerial chase at Kings Island. Yeah, something like that, I guess. All right, water park. This is long overdue. Uh, the water park here, to be honest, is not good. There aren't very many thrilling slides. I've been there once. So we do need a water tower, like a water slide tower. That's long overdue. Almost every Cedar Fair Park has one. And yeah, we really need that. So hopefully we'll be getting that. Uh, new entry to water park. Yeah, so the entry to the water park, I'm not really sure where they put it since it's kind of at the back of the park or toward the back. So maybe they'll exit it out onto the other street, not like the main entrance area. I don't know. We'll have to see. Water coaster. That's cool. I know they're putting one at Fiesta Texas. They have one at Dollywood. I believe they have one at Holiday World, but I'm not too sure. Those are really fun. So pretty excited for that if they do decide to add that. And then kitty activity pools. They do have one of those already. It's kind of like the whole ropes, like the ropes course that's like in the water and then there's a big bucket on top that falls on you every couple minutes. They have one of those. I don't know if it's different, but we'll see. Uh, Mat Racer. Those are pretty fun. Uh, water Park site. Aqua Launch. Yeah, that's what I was talking about before. That would be on the tower, I suppose. So those are fun also. And then the Family Rafting Slide. Cool. Yeah, like I said, a water park expansion is very long overdue. Now here's where we start talking big. That is a B&M Hyper, and it's been rumored for a while that Great America will be getting a B&M Hyper. There is a 225 foot height limit, but I believe they're working to change that. It doesn't need to be that tall. Obviously, they're not going to be able to put a Giga, but I'm not too bummed about that. Hyper's fine. It would be the tallest coaster at the park by like 100 feet so uh, yeah so I'm pretty excited about that if they decide to add it which they probably will wood roller coaster so we already have gold striker and grizzly so I don't think we really need another one um, unless they're talking about an RMC topper track which would be amazing but I don't know if that's gonna happen anytime in the near future it has been rumored actually uh, all right so, Tower Swing Ride. This, a lot of Cedar Fair Parks have this one, so we're probably going to be getting that one soon. Uh, water Flume Ride. We do have a, a water flume called White Water Falls. It is a very small one. If they make a bigger one, that would be pretty cool. I'm not, I don't really ride them that often, but it would be pretty cool. Slingshot Ride, again, a few Cedar Fair Parks have that, but if it's proposed, they're probably going to be adding one. They don't take up a lot of space and they're not really expensive, so if they're proposing one here, they probably will add one. And then here are the major rides. Steel Roller Coaster, we already um, discussed. Another Steel Roller Coaster, uh, Intamin Impulse Coaster. Intamin has not added an Impulse Coaster in a long time, so it would probably have to be a relocation from another Cedar Fair Park. I believe there are three. You got one at Valley Fair, Dorney, and Cedar Point. So I don't think that it'll be coming from Cedar Point. So probably either Valley Fair or Dorney, or they'll be adding a new one from Intamin. Uh, if it's new, that would be cool. So Dorney and Valley Fair can keep their Intamin Impulse Coaster. Steel Looping Coaster, Transform Vortex. Yeah, that's Patriot. We're already getting that next season. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time with a new video. See you later.